What is going on, Lunatics? The next big move for Luna Classic is getting ready to happen. The structure on the chart is forming right now. So I do think that we're about to see another big impulse move uh, into what we call the golden zone. I've talked to you about this before. If you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button on the way in. I'm going to show you how I think it's going to break out. And it's not going to be much different than what I've shown you before. We're just going to put a time frame on it. So uh, let's get into it. Make sure, again, you hit that like button. All right, guys, we're going to start off with price action today. Um, so we've seen two stair steps on our way up right now. And it looks a little something like this. Let's use this top over here. And you can see that there's, there's kind of like a consistency to the direction, if you will, that we're going. And that is towards the upside. So we're, we're making this uh, new pattern. We've got this new paradigm, if you will, uh, whatever you want to call it. Even if you come down here and look at it, you still get the sense here that we're in this upwardly mobile sort of pattern, right? Well, uh, one of the things that goes along with that is these hourly uh, breakdowns where we get these bear flags uh, or pennant flags, if you will. Well, it looks like we've got another pennant flag starting to form and it's coming down like this. Uh, we've got the other one that's coming like this. Uh, so gives us kind of an indication of at least a time frame. The average amount of consolidation for these last two breakouts, we come over here, we look at this, that was five days. Uh, we look at this one, and this one was five days. So what are we looking at on this one? Well, we're looking at, so five days takes us to the end of the American Thanksgiving. Now, uh, what does that mean? Well, uh, for, for those of you who don't know, uh, the last couple of times we've had um, uh, the, these um, Hall uh, uh, Halloween uh, Thanksgivings during a bull run, then guess what? We've had massive dumps of about 20%. Well, if you look at the market more broadly right now, then you can see this. I'm going to use the day chart because it's a little easier. So this crypto in the last two days, you can see how much of a dump there was. We were at 3.35 trillion market cap. We've dumped $300 billion over the last two days-ish, right? Anticipated. This is what we were actually expecting to see happen. Now, this is what it looks like on this and you saw it right here and we had another big impulse move and you saw it right here and we, saw, we had another big impulse move uh and, and now the the problem in so much as there was a problem was this impulse move was happening around the time that we were dumping or getting ready for this thanksgiving dump so uh thanksgiving dump just makes me laugh i gotta tell you guys uh but uh if you look at it from this context then the next impulse move from this most likely um, even if you, no matter how you look at it, we're minting higher tops along the way. So the next impulse move, most probably, if we look at, you know, from this to this, we look at it from this context right here is going to be into that golden zone or very close to that golden zone sort of range. That's what's getting ready to happen. Now, let me point out, uh, one more time, exactly what happened the last time during these holidays. All right, guys, the chart I'm showing you right now is the crypto total market cap, excluding Bitcoin and Ethereum. And you can see this right here. This blue line is where the election was held right here. You can barely see it, but it's there. Let's get you a better angle. You can see that blue line right there. But this right here, this is this is Thanksgiving. So this everything I got circled right here uh, is that's your Thanksgiving dump, if you will. I just still funny to say. Uh, but so this was Thursday right here. And then this was leading up to it. So you see there's just a massive move. And what was the downward momentum here? The downward momentum here, 30%. So 30% of the market got wiped out over the course of Thanksgiving. Then it went back up, came almost back to that top, dumped back down, started to uh, range for a breakout. You can see it right here. I'm like, I'm just going to show you here. Uh, you know, started to, to to consolidate again for a breakout. And then around December 16, we got that breakout and we test the new top. But because it was weak and because it was holidays and there's sell pressure during the holidays, we got another dump. This time it was even bigger than the one before. And then that's when everything changed. OK, so I would suspect that we're going to see the same thing happening again. OK, now what do we see at that point? We saw everything just go off to the moon. So what I'm going to suspect here is I'm going to move this down just a little bit. And I'm going to say that, you know, this little range right here, probably right here. We're going to leave this here for now. We're going to lock that in position. 
Um, that's where we're going to predict that next big move. So what I think is going to happen based on what I see so far is we're going to do another test back up here. Then we're going to consolidate in this range. Then boom, this is when it's going to start. And then that's where we're ending up um, in, in this range. And by the way, I probably... Uh, let me try that one more time. Probably didn't do that exactly right. Let's just kind of get an idea here that right about here and now that's where it comes into play. All right, so that's what I think is going to happen. That's how it's going to play out. Uh, we're going to move this to that area right now. So now that's what I think is getting ready to happen for the market. So there's a little bit of time left. Now, here's the other part. Where do I think it ultimately goes? And then that becomes the question right there. And I think that, you know, again, May is going to be where everything plays out to its maximum advantage. So what I would suspect is this is the start of, you know, banana zone, if you will. And then the question is like, what does it look like? 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 Well, that takes us up there uh, to that range for May. And by the way, I'm, I'm, I'm being a little bit, you know, I'm not being aggressive here, but uh, that drops it to two zeros one, right? So then we have to go 10x from there. We actually go, have to go 30x there from there to get to my target area. But for right now, I think this is exactly what you're looking at. And I think this is exactly what you're going to see on this chart. Now, it only takes, let's go to, uh, let's go to volume and everything, uh, 88 million in volume. So we're still doing pretty good, but it's a market cap right now, 619 million. It would be nothing to see it go to 6 billion market cap. That, by the way, uh, at this point would not even put it, I mean, would put it in the top 100, I think, at the bottom of the top 100. And that would be fair enough for a zombie blockchain brought back to revival. So I, I, I kind of think that that sort of works out. So uh, let's just say that, you know, about a 10x from where we are right now seems to be a reasonable expectation for the first part of the bull market pump. Now, the, the question then becomes, how well could we consolidate into this range for the, the secondary pump? And then that's where you know, this is that's the banana zone. This is what we're really talking about. This is where I told you guys. So this is what it would end up looking like. Um, so the the dump would then be down to you know what we would call maybe a fib retracement level, and we would look at it from you know from here to here or something like that. So we would expect it to come down into the five sort of range right there. I've made some changes to my fib tool here. So coming back down, you know, what it would look like, I guess, would be a dump down into this sort of range right about here. And then a breakout and just boom, taking us right there towards the end of November. So you know, this is really what I think the market is going to look like. Now, here's the other part. Um, could we or would we be forced in some context to um, uh, change the way that we're thinking on this? No. In fact, the reason that, and by the way, when you looked at it last time, when you when you looked at the market going back, you saw a double top in 21. Uh, that double top was here. And then the other double top was, you know, right around here, right? So why would we be more aggressive with that? Well, that's because of the amount of burns that we are working on and the amount of uh, effort that we're putting into the protocol for which we're burning uh, Luna Classic. So I would suspect that over the next couple of months, we're going to see an enormous amount of interest and burn, and we're going to start to see a real, real excitement uh, permeate. And that's why I predict this big, big move up here, because we're going to be looking to burn a, a significant portion of supply. The time to be conservative is is over now is the time to be aggressive now one of the things that goes along with that is we're going to have to start to burn a lot of tokens and we're going to have to get a lot of people trading on chain so over the next couple months you're probably going to see a lot of incentives to make you trade on chain as opposed to trading on binance and by the way that's going to mean that they're going to be talking to you about buying on binance and moving it off chain so that you can start to transact with it and, you know, for Binance, they don't really care. I mean, you know, look, when you look at the amount of supply that's being held by Binance, then you can't be anything more than just like, yeah, because they're holding 2.38 trillion right now. We need to cut into that 2.38 trillion by a significant portion. Let me show you what it looks like here. Uh, 2.38 trillion is the amount stored on Binance. Uh, 989 billion is what's staked right now. But then you have like OKX, KuCoin, CryptoCom, 
Kraken, you know, you got another CryptoCom. So you, you've got plenty of these different ones. But the point to it is, um, in order for us to, you know, get somewhere, then what we need is we need to burn some of that Binance wallet. Binance doesn't want to burn that wallet, but if you buy from Binance and then move it onto the chain, ta-da, there's nothing that Binance can do about it. There's nothing that, you know. Um, so I, I, I think, I think that, you know, this is going to work out very, very well. So, um, but we need to see something happen first before we get, you know, too far into the weeds on how this is going to play out. But we're going to have to dig into that pile. But if we do that, and if we were to reduce the supply uh, by a factor of two thirds, then just consider that the amount of Terra Luna Classic right now, just, just kind of sitting idly without the pump, pre-pump, would be... Um, uh, reduction of 60% of the supply would be a third, um, 3,300. So 3,400, uh, we'd be at three zeros 34 right now, which is not a significant amount, by the way. It's not, you know, it's not huge. It's more value for you. And it's getting nearer to the all-time high uh, or the local all-time high. It'd be right in here, this where 618 number is right here around 38.6, something like that. So we would actually be in this range right here without a market cap pump. The market cap pump is what predicts all of this right here. So if the if that were to happen, we were to reduce the supply such that you know we had a 3x from it right now because we'd reduced the supply by 66%. If we had done that and we got this pump and we were sitting right here right now, market cap would still be 622 million. There wouldn't be any change in the market cap. So when I say a 10x from there, well, then you're talking about a 10x coming into, and this is how simple it is, the, the, the 10x would then come into this range right here. Just going into that with a burn would put you right here. So you can see how it is not that complicated and it's not that far away to get to these levels. You just have to have a little faith and the ability to just kind of hodl right now and create trade volume, which is the other indicator right there. So uh, with some trade volume, this could get a, a just really, really crazy. Now we have to move on. Uh, USTC, uh, 22 million in trade volume. Doesn't really matter because they're not burning anything, but 22 million in trade volume. Now, should be noted, USTC, Luna Foundation Guard still holding 1.84 billion and Terraform Labs still holding 290 million. So uh, we haven't done anything with those right now. Still don't know what's going on or why it's not being burned, but uh, okay, boomers. As far as meme coins go, uh, a lot of meme coins having a, a real rough go of it. Um, food is not. Um, uh, cat with hat just burned another 100 million cat with hat tokens and i'm told that cat with hat has some kind of big something coming in the next bunch of days that we should be seeing some kind of announcements for which would be kind of cool so you know maybe we'll see something happen over there um i, I don't know for sure I have no idea but you know we could be looking at some kind of of, of nice sort of move so um uh, but as you can see right here i mean we're just kind of uh, in range, if you will, not really, uh, we're dumping because there's so much peg to Luna Classic right now, if that makes sense. Uh, and, you know, the market is dumping. So uh, I wouldn't get too concerned about it. Uh, you're starting to see kind of an uptick in value, even with a dump. This is two days long, and we're still not even at, at, at uh, the American Thanksgiving yet. So uh, probably some continued dump to happen here in the next couple. Now, the third part of this, and the most important, is Leonardo has put out another update here. Uh, Luna, Lunk developers now need to decide if they want to be part of Ceramics Plan. I just posted this on the Lunk Validator chat. Um, this is the transparent validator chat. After over a month of answering questions, there are 55 questions on the Q&A. Um, no, more, no more answering questions with the white paper release. There's plenty of information for people to decide on the merits of Ceramics plan. The objective is known. The strategy is the white paper. The next step is tactics and resources. The resources available will dictate the tactical route to deliver on the strategy. So this is a question now of who is in. And if they're in, how soon can we get this going and implemented so that we can start to see significant burns on chain and everybody who's going to participate and et cetera, et cetera. What are the resources that we need? <clears throat> so um, I announced Ceramics Plan at the end of September. Then there were at least five ideas to repeg USTC. Fast forward to now, it's still the same. No explanation of the fundamental economic drivers for how these plans will drive value, just a list of technical implementations. So why would anyone think these plans would bring USTC back to a dollar generate value for validators? I'm expecting some of these plans to morph into technical collateralization. Long developers now need to decide if they want to be part of Ceramics Plan. So now there is no proposition up. There is nothing on Commonwealth yet. This is all in validator chat for the moment. So, um, you know, it, we're not as, we're serious. This is serious, but it's not to the point of governance or anything like that. So 
you know, bear that in mind. Uh, soon we'll have some information on it and we'll know exactly what's happening. Now, as far as burns go, because we got to move on here, 412 million is burned over the last uh, seven days. That's still a significant portion. Uh, and it was because it's really getting bad. Uh, it's starting to get low again, except yesterday we had 105 million burn. If we could do that every day, then you're talking about billions and billions and billions uh, making uh, the, the Binance burn look really minuscule by comparison. Uh, you know, we need to see what the Binance burn looks like, you know, for the, for the month and uh, whether it's any good or not. As far as USTC, just just nothing. You're, you're just, you know, there's just minimal amounts of USTC being burned at this point. Probably, like, you know, probably in retrospect, more burn on USTC and less on Luna Classic would have been the better plan uh, to get USTC, which is the driving force or presumed to be the driving force behind making all of this stuff happen. This probably would have been um, in hindsight, the better opportunity, but eh, you know, whatever. Uh, <clears throat> so, uh, if you haven't already, sign up for Terra Classic Casino. Weeks, by the way, um, we haven't talked about weeks in a while, but there's a link downstairs. What do you futures trading? And by the way, right now be a perfect time for some futures trading. Um, we'll talk about that. We'll start doing that in the in the next little while and talk about some positions and we'll see how it goes. Uh, but you know, if you haven't already. Then you can play the Rich Wild and the Pearls of Vishnu, sponsored to you by Terra Casino and Play and Go. Uh, World Poker League, $2 million in euros being given away. Uh, and then, you know, the, the cryptos that you can use. Uh, on Terraport, um, trade all your favorite meme coins. All these things I've been talking about, Cat with Hat, Juris Protocol, uh, Rocket, which, by the way, uh, ranked 26th in Rocket right now. I should have been ranked better. I can't believe I just... Ugh. Uh, but uh, Hamster Meme, uh, you got a whole bunch of them out here. Uh, you've got B-Lunk, uh, Cookie, uh, you've got uh, Alpha, you've got Terra Tritium, um, Terra, Osmo, you've, you've got a whole bunch of them. Garuda X, uh, you've probably got FRG in here somewhere, you got NBA, Food, Boys, um, Lunk Zombies. you got plenty of different ones over here to trade. Uh, so what are you waiting for? Uh, get over there and start doing it. All right, guys, that's it. That's my time. Got to get going for the day. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, look, I think that uh, we've got some consolidation coming in. We didn't get the pump that we were looking for, but I don't think that we get it right now. This is me just guessing in this context, though. Uh, I don't think that we get the pump that we're looking for right now because I think the market is going to kind of uh, go sideways for a little while. If we get a good announcement, we might get a bump. I might be, you know, I might be jumping the gun on saying we're not going to get one. We might get a bump if we get, you know, some kind of, if this ceramic thing just looks so good that it's too good to pass up for, for traders and stuff like that, you might get an anomaly pump because you still get those. But, you know, we need, um, we need something big to happen right there. So um, I'll, I'll certainly, I'm going to be interested in seeing how this plays out. Uh, but, but I, you know, I, th I do think that we need a little something. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. And remember, this is not financial advice, but I'm always right.